Hi, I'm Gail. Welcome to a series of short videos giving you an overview on how to use free agent um, and get the most from it. In this video, we're going to cover our banking section. So from the dashboard, please select the banking menu. And within here, you'll be able to view all the different bank accounts. Now, this is just a test company and there's various accounts already set up. What we'll do is we'll click on new and add a bank account. In here, you can enter the name of the account and that account name is just something that's useful to you. So whether it's your primary account or savings account, etc., you could you could identify it in some way in that name. Click on make this my primary account because we're assuming that this is you just doing the initial setup and that this is the first account that you're linking. In here, these are optional details, but what you can do if you're thinking of raising invoices from free agent for your clients, then I would make sure that you complete these details. So type in the bank name, Santander, enter in the account number and the sort code, and then select this box to show these details on the invoices. Opening balance. Now this would be relevant if you have perhaps been trading for a short while and you're just switching over to free agent. Um, and you could enter the balance in here. Failing that, just leave it at zero. Guess explanations. If you select this box, when the transactions are pulled through from the bank, free agent will use their own algorithms to assume uh, what the transactions are for. It can be quite useful and it can save a bit of time. So if you can make sure that that box is also selected and then click create new account. So it'll bring you to the screen where all the banking transactions would come up. In the top right hand corner you've got enable bank feed. Now this is the best option to use um, when using the banking module. It makes life much easier um, and it will significantly save you time because what will happen is that the bank transactions will automatically be imported um, on a regular basis into free agent rather than you having to manually add them. The only issue with this section is that not all banks um, are valid, um, but most banks are in there and it's a system that's constantly being updated. So hopefully if your bank's not there at the moment, um, it will be added in the future. You can either go down to the bottom and type in the bank name and find your banking service, or if you can see it in this main page, just click on them. So we'll click on Santander. Um, and it'll come up and ask you to connect with Santander. Now it's just a little bit like logging into your online banking, so you'll need all that type of credentials. Click on connect to my bank and then it will redirect you to your online banking screen. So in this instance, it's taking you to Santander and in there, it would ask you to enter in the ID and security number that you would normally use when you log into your online banking. At this stage, I'm just going to cancel this, however, because um, I don't want to link obviously my own bank into this test account. Um, but it's quite self-explanatory once you enter all the details in, and it will take you through a step-by-step -step setting up that within the bank. Just click on this exit at the moment. Now, if for whatever reason you were unable um, to link. Um, your bank with enable bank feed or it's something you just don't want to do then that's fine and what we can do is we can upload a statement manually now I would recommend we do, you do this on a regular basis the banking module is the most important part of free agent because this is what guides all the other figures within the overview um, which then keeps you right with what you can withdraw from the bank um, how much profits in the company etc so it's really important that the bank account transactions are up to date so if you click on upload statement, you will see here it's got download a statement from your online banking website. So you would log into your own online banking and then you would download a statement. They support OFX, QuickBooks or MS Money files, QF files. Um, the easiest way I find is to do it in a CSV format. If you're using the CSV format, It has to be formatted in a particular way. If you look at this spreadsheet here, which I've done already, this is how it would be formatted. So you have date, the amount, 
and a description. And that's the only three fields that you need to upload the spreadsheet. The date must be formatted as day, month, and year with the four digits. The amount must be formatted as number and with two decimal places. And then you would save that as a CSV file. If you go back to free agent, you can click on select a file, bank upload, and click on upload statement. That will do its wee bit, and then it will say your statement of 1200 transactions was uploaded successfully. Review your transactions. So, what this does is because we've clicked on Guess, um, guess explanations, it's already assumed accountant is accountancy fees and it's worked that out, bank charges and the insurance and that's why it's changed to green. So here we've got the total unexplained transactions is nine. So anything in red has to be explained. If you click on the transaction, it brings down further information. It's a payment, there's all different types in there but if generally if it's money out, it's a payment. Um, you work out whether it includes VAT or not. Now that would be only applicable if you were VAT registered and you'd be able to get that information from your receipt. Click on the category, mobile phone, explain transaction. Sales, now you can either select it from an invoice receipt and we'll come to that in a later video where you've created an invoice or you just select it as sales. Again, you um, depending on whether you're VAT registered or not, You'd select whether it was um, included VAT or not and explain the transaction. And you would just work your way down through the transactions explaining them all. If you click on it and you want further um, explanation, if you click on more options, it brings up a more detailed screen. Here you can link it to a project, which again will come to in a later video, and you can also have an attachment. And I would highly recommend that as you go along, you add a receipt to the transaction. So in here we'll select computer software, create new explanation, sales, explain the transaction, internet and telephone. Now these three transactions are where you have made your own personal withdrawals. Salary, um, you would explain as money paid to user, the payment would be to whoever the director was that is receiving the salary and then it would be net salary and bonuses and you would explain that transaction. Again, dividend, money paid to user, select the person and you would select dividend. Now if the dividend was to be split between two users, if you clicked on more options, money paid to user, you want to allocate £1,000 of that to Dan Ashcroft as a dividend and then you click create explanation. When you go back to the bank, it's now left the balance, 1000 still to be explained and you can explain that to the other shareholder as a dividend and it would split the two dividends between the two correct shareholders. Expenses, money paid to user, Dan Ashcroft and then you do expense payment. And then we've got, good job, now relax, all the transactions are explained. So if you click on all transactions, you can see every transaction that's in that account for all time periods. If you click on unexplained, you can see that there's no unexplained transactions. And if you click on for approval, there's none waiting approval that have been guessed, but just need you to approve them. You can pick by accounting year or month, if you're particularly looking for, um, a transaction in general. You can also use the search function to type in if you wanted to see all the transactions that were paid out to the accountant for all time periods and it'll bring up all these transactions if there was something in particular we're looking at. A quick double check here as well please when you come in it'll say bank details and it'll give you the bank balance. Make sure that that bank balance on that date matches your online banking. If it doesn't 
um, it is rare, but sometimes happens, it can be that a transaction has been missed. Please contact your accountant at that point um, to look into this for you. Click on overview and you will return back to your dashboard and you'll be able to see here the balance for your account um, and an overview for the last um, 12 months of what's been going on with the bank accounts. 